Okay, welcome back. Um, I wanted to break this into two videos because this one might go a little bit long. Don't really know, so want to make sure that uh, I have enough time. Um, okay, so on the last uh, video, you saw that we kind of got stuck. We have this plugin that won't update. So what what I want to do is I show you a, a different way of going about it, and it gets a little bit tricky. But if you just focus on what I do in the video, and then follow along, click where I click, you won't have a problem. So this is where we kind of left off. I'm going to return to my plugins page, and what you'll notice is that um, there's a new version, there's a new update. So I'm going to go actually here where it says visit plugin site. And what you'll see is I'm on wordpress.org. This is the, the plugin, this is the description, etc. I can read about it, etc. Now, the interesting thing is I don't know this plugin very well, but it's automatically put on when you use GoDaddy. And because it was one that got stuck, I just wanted to demonstrate it. I don't know if I'll actually use this. I'll probably review it later on. But uh, let's just go ahead and, and um, show you here. So now it says download the version. What it's going to ask for is where I want to save it. Okay, now I automatically, um, there again, if you have a different browser, it may be a little bit cumbersome. Now notice here that I'm, I'm downloading a zip file. This is where people get a little bit confused. So I'm downloading a zip file. I'm going to save it. It's going to save to my desktop. And that takes just a, a couple seconds. Now what I'm going to do is that's now on my desktop or downloading to my desktop. Now I can go into my GoDaddy site by going to you know GoDaddy.com and typing in the information and then kind of navigating. I want to show you a trick though. So if I go to Google and I were to type in GoDaddy hosting, I come with this this first one which is just login. So I type in um, if I were to go here it's just going to require my username and password. Now I'm using this uh, product called LastPass which automatically fills the passwords for me. So I'm going to go to the one that I know which is uh, this one and then it automatically puts the username and password in for me and then it automatically navigates me to just the hosting portion so I don't have to do a lot of navigation. It saves a little bit of time. So here what I'm going to do is click on the website that I'm I'm currently editing. I'm going to use this thing called the FTP manager or the FTP. No, it actually stands for file transfer protocol. I always think that's funny. It reminds me of uh, that movie Dumb and Dumber where uh, uh, he's sounding out the word the. He. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me laugh. Um, anyway, so we're on the FTP uh, site. And if you ever want to impress your friends, you can say, hey, file transfer protocol site. And I guarantee that they'll be impressed. Okay, so what we have here is we have, these are basically all the files that are on your server. And you notice when they begin with a WP, they're referring to WordPress. So basically I'm going to WP-content. And you'll notice I have a plugins folder. Okay. And then these are essentially the, the plugins that are, are active and running on my site. Okay, and you'll notice I have this upload button. And then what I'm going to do is um, actually go and uh, uh, upload. It's going to ask me to browse to the file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to the Jetpack zip file. I don't need to unzip it. I'm going to do that in the next step. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. It's going to take a minute. Okay, once that's complete, actually I'm going to have to go home again. Click on FTP file manager. Then go back, 
find the Jetpack zip, and now on Archive. It's going to ask me where I want to put it. I want to put it in Plugins. And then what it's going to do is it's going to unzip those files onto the server. And then the next thing I'll see is a, is a folder on there. Okay, got the success that the files are now on there. And you'll see that I have a Jetpack folder. So now what we did is we loaded the brand new version of Jetpack. So when I go back to my plugins, it no longer, well, let's see here. Um, it no longer has an update alert. Okay, so this is right and I'm going to actually activate it. Now the step you missed is I deleted it. So just like right here I could go back in and I can delete it. Um, I did do that but now we have um, Jetpack is up and running and I haven't configured it yet or anything like that but um, basically that's how you get the newer version of a plugin onto your uh, website. So it's kind of going in this roundabout way where if you have a newer version uh, you're going to go through this uh, this portal here which is the GoDaddy hosting. Now there is uh, another way to do it but uh, th this kind of works okay. Um, the other way that I would encourage and I want to do an, an, a, another video on this is by using a FTP client and um, let's see I'm running out of time so I will demonstrate the FTP client at a later time thank you bye bye